What do we got, Dan? All right, so 2021 Stingray. Um, we've already done some work on it. Let me pop the hood and show you guys. I guess it's the trunk, not the hood. <laughs> so it's got log tube headers and that uh, carbon fiber intake manifold um, and an exhaust. Um, that was last year. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we, we had Saban install a uh, DSX flex fuel kit. Um, we're gonna baseline it as is on pump gas. Um, then we're gonna put E85 in it and tune it on that and see what the gains are. So I'm hoping 20 to 30 horsepower gain, but we'll see. consistently makes 450 horsepower so perfect we're gonna attempt to improve on that using pump gas um, and then once we, we find the max power that it'll make on pump gas we're gonna drain the tank put E85 in it and see how much more it'll make but it appears that the factory tune in it is pretty darn good so we'll see if we can beat GM we'll try for sure try <laughs> manipulating air fuel ratio to see if it helped with power tried ignition timing um, haven't really had much success with either um, I did find that I had to reduce the ignition timing just a little bit from the factory calibration to stop it from knocking um, but yeah very minimal difference in horsepower um, I'm gonna see if I can change the cam timing now and see if that affects power at all but um, it appears like my uh, my initial guesses are correct. I don't think we're gonna find a whole lot of horsepower there uh, from the factory calibration on just pump gas. So we'll see what happens. This is our E98 barrel. There is some pump gas in the car, so we're gonna blend in some E98 and get it up to E85 and see how much power we gain with that. About the flash? Yeah. Let me try something else.
yellow here is the factory tune. Um, after this yellow run, we, we started experimenting with ignition timing, cam timing, um, different air fuel ratios. Um, and they didn't really have any impact on the horsepower. So Jim did a really good job tuning this car um, straight out of the factory. Uh, yeah, so we didn't find any gains. So after that, I did another control run um, after I got the car hot. As you can see here, we have, we have these fans here. We found that the car was really sensitive to heat because of the engines no longer in the front. Um, we don't have the big dyno fan cooling it down. So even with the factory calibration, we found that pull after pull after pull kept, ma kept making less and less power. So um, we started running these fans on the sides and, and it helped a lot. Um, so the control run after getting the car hot um, was 445 horsepower. That's using the factory calibration as well. Um, it's only slightly down from the uh, glory pull we did this morning using the factory tune as well. So um, I did that test just so we could have a control under similar temperature uh, conditions. So under the same temperature conditions on pump gas, we made 445 horsepower. We went ahead and put the 85 in it, uh, made some tune changes, and we made 478 horsepower. So that's a pretty darn good uh, horsepower gain throughout the entire rev range. Here, let's pick a, a random spot. Here's the, uh, in the middle of the run, that's at 5200 RPM. We went from 395 horsepower to 428 horsepower. That's a 33, 34 horsepower gain. And that's throughout the entire graph, which is pretty legit. Only modification is a DSX flex fuel sensor kit. Um, and that's an easy 30 horsepower, um, that with tuning. So, factory tune on these cars is great. Um, and ethanol really wakes them up and gains around 30 horsepower everywhere. And that's something we offer, right? Yeah, that's something we offer. We can do that. Um, so it's really important, only select HP tuners authorized dealers can do this for you. Um, I believe we're the only people in the Pacific Northwest region that is authorized to do this. So uh, yeah, give us a shout. Let us make us, let us help you make more horsepower on your CA.